space, the final frontier. It has always been speculated that there is adventure and even life beyond our planet. With so many possibilities for advancements, it is truly fascinating whenever anything is discovered. You never know what small finding will lead to something big, and what big findings will be revolutionary. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at recent space discoveries. NASA scientists detect evidence of a parallel universe where time runs backwards. For decades, our TV screens have been riddled with science fiction shows, weaving stories of parallel universes and describing realms filled with time travel and aliens alike. Well, new research as recent as 2020 suggests that these ideas are not quite so far-fetched. As scientists describe actions of particles resembling expectations of parallel universes, where both the rules of time and physics appear to be inverted to our own. The idea of a multiverse has not always been confined to our comic books and fictional tales. It has been suggested for numerous years that there is a likelihood of a multiverse existing, and subsequent research that has been conducted for years now has taken this possibility into account. One often cited area of physics that has considered the possibility of a parallel universe is quantum mechanics, with the many worlds theory, first proposed by American physicist Hugh Everett III in 1957 whilst completing his doctoral thesis at Princeton University. This informed his relative state formulation, which has impacted the field for decades now. Whilst undeniably influential, the impact of the many worlds interpretation has not been isolated nor uncontested by any means. At the time of publication by Everett, the leading, dominating and ultimately competing theory was the Copenhagen interpretation, a wider explanation of quantum physics, with a much broader meaning and more contradictory ideas within it. Even today, the Copenhagen interpretation dominates the discourse and discussions of quantum mechanics. Or will that change with this new 2020 discovery? An experiment aiming to detect cosmic rays appears to have discovered particles that many scientists have suggested are from a universe, world or realm that is parallel to our own. If a universe of this nature genuinely exists, current theories suggest that its formation likely coincides with our own, being born via the Big Bang. These leading field experts used apparatus described as a giant balloon to move NASA's Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, also known as ANITA, to above Antarctica. Antarctica made for an ideal location for the employment of this technology, as the environmental factors, including dry air and a distinct lack of radio noise, left few extraneous variables to distort and corrupt the data and findings. We discovered here that Earth has a consistent, constant arrival of high-energy particles entering our atmosphere from outer space. It has been well established that low-energy particles, known as subatomic neutrinos, with a mass nearing zero, are able to pass through Earth with ease. We also believed, until now, that the particles with high energy have been unable to pass through our planet, being stopped by the solid matter of Earth itself. This new research, conflicting with established premises, has been assumed to indicate that these particles are coming up out of the Earth, emitting particles with a heavier mass, known as tau neutrinos, as detected by ANITA. The previous idea, however, had been that we were experiencing high-energy particles coming down from outer space to the Earth. So, what do scientists think this inverted trajectory means? Simply put, many physicists believe that these new, bizarre particles are travelling back in time, providing possible evidence to support the idea of a parallel universe where the time runs backwards to our own. Experimental particle physicist Peter Gorham and principal ANITA investigator explained that the only other explanation as to the odd behaviour of the tau neutrino particle is that it had somehow shifted into a new particle before passing through the Earth, and then changing back into its original state once again. Of course, many sceptics were quick to voice an opinion here. Despite this phenomenon having seemingly limited explanations, though we cannot be certain either way as to exactly what is happening with the tau neutrino particle. Will more particles arise to support the idea of a backwards parallel universe, or will this discovery simply become the future material of a sci-fi episode? 
mysterious kick just after the Big Bang may have created dark matter. The Big Bang is a mysterious and mind-boggling thing to comprehend. It was the instant that all matter in the universe was created and has understandably been the focus of much research. The same sort of interest lies with dark matter too. The mysterious substance that is ever-present but is totally ignorant of light. And it turns out the two areas might be more connected than we think. In the universe, there is both matter and antimatter in equal quantities. When they come into contact, they cancel each other out and are destroyed. And yet, when all the matter and antimatter in the universe were first created, they should have instantly annihilated themselves. But, since we are here, that clearly didn't happen. New research suggests that in the very early universe, there was some sort of trigger, some sort of kick that produced a surplus of matter. This answers the question of why there is a greater amount of matter compared to antimatter today. Subsequently, it could be because of this kick that dark matter came into existence. The biggest issue with dark matter is, well, we do not really know what exactly it is. We know that it exists, and we know that it takes up about 80% of all matter in the universe. That means with everything we can observe from Earth, all the galaxies, stars, planets and moons, it is all just a fraction of how much dark matter is out there. But the perplexing thing is that although dark matter takes up much of the universe, it does not seem to have much of an effect on it. As reported in Live Science, when one process dominates an interaction, it really takes over. Unless other physics comes into play, rarely do two competing forces come out in balance. This can be shown in the process of when stars collapse. Gravity and electromagnetism are in competition inside of the star until gravity eventually dominates and the star collapses and becomes a black hole. The paper is just the tip of the iceberg in our understanding of dark matter, but it does lead us down a potential path for discovering the truth. Hubble finds Betelgeuse's mysterious dimming is due to a traumatic outburst. The red supergiant star Betelgeuse, part of the Orion constellation and the namesake of the hit 80s Betelgeuse film character, has been dimming in an unexplained and unexpected manner, leaving a cloud of dust emitting from the surface of the star, according to observations made by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope beginning in 2019. Researchers have suggested that this dust cloud was first formed due to super-hot plasma being released from a large convection cell passing through the star's atmosphere and out into the much colder outer layers. This then cooled down in the outer layers before turning into grains of dust. The current belief is that the dust cloud was blocking the light from the star, making it appear dimmer when looking on. By the April of 2020, Betelgeuse was returned to its normal state, though in February of 2020, the reduced brightness of the star was visible from Earth with the naked eye. One quarter of the surface had been blocked with the believed dust, though at the peak of the blocking, the brightness of the star was actually reduced by more than two-thirds of its usual shine. The most commonly believed theory is the dust cloud, though others have suggested a star spot covering the visible surface. Scientists have been tracing the images captured by Hubble in the lead-up to the dimming, looking back from January 2019. The ultraviolet light spectroscopic observations of Betelgeuse captured by Hubble are being studied to find clues as to what exactly caused the dimming. The analysis of the star is part of an ongoing three-year study looking to research the variations in the atmosphere of the star, as it is known to expand and contract on a 420-day cycle. The ultraviolet light sensitivity allowed researchers to probe the surface of the star, which is not visible without the Hubble's equipment, due to the 20,000 degree Fahrenheit surface temperature. The hot, dense material continued to move beyond the visible surface of the star, eventually to millions of miles away. The outburst of material, eventually cooling to form a dust, has an unknown route. There have been some suggestions that the pulsation cycle of Betelgeuse, which did maintain regularity, has aided the perceived dimming, 
as changes in the velocity of the gas upon Betelgeuse's surface were seen to be fluctuated as measured by the stellar activity. An automated telescope from the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics. Regardless as to the true cause of the dimming, from spring 2020 onwards, Betelgeuse seems to have returned to its normal, bright state, with the atmosphere having returned to a visibly normal state too. The black hole at the center of the Milky Way may be something even more mysterious. If there is one element of space that continues to mystify scientists, it is black holes, and the gaping black hole at the center of the Milky Way, named Sagittarius A star, is perhaps one of the most mysterious of them all. For starters, astronomers have long observed the strange flashing bursts of radio waves, X-rays and gamma rays being emitted in regular intervals from Sagittarius A star. But recent observations of bursts that were up to a hundred times brighter than the regular bursts made researchers believe that even more mysterious elements might be at play, and they were eager to find out more. To accomplish this feat, they began to analyze the 15 years of data collected by NASA's Neil Gayrell's Swift Observatory Satellite, which is dedicated to detecting gamma-ray bursts like those seen coming from Sagittarius A star. The team, made up of international researchers led by Alexis Andres, were looking for any sort of regular patterns or activity that might tell them a little bit about these strange occurrences. Although no clear patterns emerged, they did notice that the frequency increased greatly between the years 2006 and 2008, with a much lower rate of activity the following four years before picking back up again in 2012. However, this second, more recent batch of bursts appears to follow a much different pattern from the first, puzzling researchers even more. As observation is one of the only methods we currently have at our disposal to research such enigmas as black holes, Scientists hope that adding this backlog of data to the findings unfolding in present day will help to remove some of the mystery surrounding these central flares. Further study will hopefully be able to tell us exactly what is causing these bursts, be it from passing gaseous clouds, stars, or something else altogether. Co-author of the study, Dr. Jakob van den Eden from the University of Oxford said, how the flares occur exactly remains unclear. It was previously thought that more flares follow after gaseous clouds or stars pass by the black hole, but there is no evidence for that yet. And we cannot yet confirm the hypothesis that the magnetic properties of the surrounding gas play a role either. And certainly, when it comes to solving this mystery, having access to databases full of observations taken over the past 15 years helps tremendously as researchers look to the environment around Sagittarius A star for clues that could help them piece together this massive, mysterious puzzle lurking at the center of our galaxy. The Great Attractor On planet Earth, gravitational force is inevitable as everything that goes up comes down eventually. The Great Attractor, just as the name suggests, attracts galaxies to itself just like the way a magnet does to metal. It operates as a gravitational anomaly. The Great Attractor is a gravitational abnormality in intergalactic space and the apparent central gravitational point of the Lana Kea supercluster. When observed, the Great Attractor is difficult to be envisioned, as it is inconveniently obscured by large clusters of galaxies in our Milky Way's galactic plane. A lot of astronomers have been curious if planet Earth is safe with the discovery of the existence of the Great Attractor by NASA. The Great Attractor was explored and discovered by NASA to have been located on the border of Triangulum, Austral and Norma. This field covers part of the Norma Cluster as well as a dense area of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The Norma Cluster is the closest massive galaxy cluster to the Milky Way and lies about 220 million light-years away. The Great Attractor was recorded by astronomers to be an enormous concentration of masses and occupies a region of space which dominates our region of the universe. One of the distinguished characteristics of the Great Attractor also is that the gravitational abnormality is observable by its effects on the motion of galaxies and their associated clusters over a region of hundreds of millions of light years across, its visibility inconvenient to observe at optical wavelengths. A whole range of tactics need to be in place for observation such as infrared or radio observations. 
but the region just behind the center of the Milky Way, where visibility is obscured, remains yet a complete mystery to astronomers. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.